Can you imagine being a landlord and renting to a pitcher who makes $10 million a year? Imagine being a landlord and going to court with him. Well, that's exactly what happened between a New York City landlord and professional MLB pitcher Noah Syndergaard. Noah Syndergaard started his major league career when he was drafted by the Toronto Blue Jays in the first round of 2010. He then went on to start his major league debut in 2015. Today, he is a 6'6", hard-throwing pitcher for the New York Mets and is known as Thor, one of the best pitchers in the major leagues today. He recently had Tommy John surgery back in March of 2020 and after 14 months of recovery, re-aggravated his pitching elbow. His last time pitching in a major league game was September 29th of 2019. According to Michael Kotzen in his article titled, Mets star pitcher Noah Syndergaard sued for a breach of lease, in early February of 2020, Noah Syndergaard signed his lease in New York City for $27,000 per month. Shortly after this, on March 12th, the MLB season was canceled due to citywide shutdown due to the coronavirus. Shortly after this, Noah had his lawyer contact the landlord saying he had no intentions of moving in and the landlord is free to re-rent the apartment to someone else. The owner of the property at 116 Hudson Street later replied with a lawsuit. The lawsuit, according to New York Daily News, claims Syndergaard signed a lease in February covering March 20th through November 30th for a total of $225,000 plus $17,000 in broker commissions. In the lawsuit, Syndergaard is accused of treating the binding lease like an option. The lawsuit also claims the apartment remained vacant and the company who owns the building is seeking damages in excess of $250,000. Noah Syndergaard replied to the landlord through his Twitter account with over 1 million followers with this tweet. So let me get this straight. I fairly and in good faith offered to pay two months rent over 50k to a landlord for a place I was never going to step foot in due to a global pandemic that took a severe toll upon the residents of NYC, gave timely notice to attempt to try to re-rent while getting TJ and now living in Florida for rehab and the landlord tries to extort me for 250k while leaking the story to the media and I'm a bad guy? Yeah, okay, see you in court, pal. According to Wise and Wise of the New York Real Estate Lawyers blog, regarding the actual dispute, there are several issues to look at. When there is a landlord-tenant situation regarding a fully executed lease, we would first review the lease to determine the specific rights and responsibilities of the parties. Without doing so, it would be extremely difficult to determine whether Thor would be fully responsible for rent payments, as he has stated he has no intention of moving into the apartment and informed the landlord that he is free to rent it to someone else. They also stated Article 7 of the New York Real Property and Procedures Law was recently amended to impose a duty on the landlord to mitigate damages. This means that if the tenant vacates the premises in violation of their lease, the landlord must attempt to re-rent the premises. Once a new tenant is obtained, their new lease will terminate the former tenant's lease and mitigate the damages owed by the original tenant. According to the pitcher's attorney, David Goldfisher, we strongly dispute the allegations made against our client and intend on defending him vigorously. Noah is looking forward to his day in court and is currently focused on remaining safe and healthy during these trying times. If you look at the apartment online today, it is currently listed for sale for $7,395,000. Since the owner was unable to rerun or sell the property, it seems the attorney for Syndergaard's landlord will attempt to settle the matter, most likely with Syndergaard paying a small portion of the rent due and the landlord accepting these damages. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.